the FDA just approved another weight loss drug called Cusimia. Cusimia, by a California company. They've done some randomized controlled trials. It contains two different drugs, fentramine and another one called topiramate. Both of these are known to have significant side effects, but what they do when they're combined is they stimulate a reduction in appetite, so people eat less. The trial consisted of some very, very heavy people. If body mass index is up around 45, body weight's up around 250, 260 on average, mostly women, and they conducted the study over a 52-week period, 52-week period, gave two different strengths of the drug. One group on the lower dose lost 5% of their body weight. The other group lost about 10% of their body weight over this amount of time. Now, the FDA approved this as long as it was an adjunct to an exercise program and a calorie reduction. That's critical. So 10% of weight loss in, in the best losing group is not really that impressive for people who have this kind of body weight on them. And there are well-known side effects. Fen fentramine is banned in Europe. You can't buy it. You can get it by the internet, but there's a ban on it because they, they know the problems. And there's a whole crew of people out there who are against what the FDA did here by approving this drug. The FDA appears to be sitting in the lap of industry right now. And that's been going on for some years, and a lot of people know it. And they're approving anything that industry wants them to approve. So they're not acting as a watchdog for the public any longer. They're acting as a watchdog for the FDA. Now, I have written about extensively the value and successfulness of the low-carb diet. We now know with recent research that the low-carb diet is the default diet for good health, for fighting against diabetes and cardiovascular disease. In several studies done with a low-carb diet, people have lost as much as 34 pounds. And these were leaner people. So this represents a more significant loss of percent of body fat and body weight than the use of the drug. So there's no sense using the drug at all. People will do it. I know that, but let some reason rise out of the ashes here so people think clearly. Low-carb diet, not Atkins. I've got it all written up. Follow mine. You can build it into your lifestyle. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.